as I sit in my car and I sweat from my neck in my brow and inside my hat. I asked the Lord this morning, Lord, what did we do to deserve Jake Paul? What did we do to deserve the Logan brothers? Why won't they lose? Why won't they be defeated? You said no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but these weapons that I feel like they personally formed against me and they are prospering financially, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Nobody can beat them. Nobody is cheating. They just keep winning. They keep winning. I don't know who they picking in fights. I don't know how it's being set up, but they cannot lose. And then the fact remains that Jake Paul can actually fight a little bit so nobody can't just naturally beat his ass no matter who he put in the ring that's on his caliber he's just not gonna openly lose because he can't lose because he can fight real good and that's making it worse for everybody i looked at that fight i ordered pay-per-view he got my money at me and i paid to watch him finally lose woodley talked so much stuff woodley said i'm taking it serious i watched tiktok and snapchat trends that said woodley is preparing like he's fighting mike tyson no he prepared like he was fighting michael douglas at his age right now and michael douglas if you don't know go google his name look at his age look at the wrinkles in his face and then come back and that joke will make sense what i'm trying to say jake the snake paul is beating ass he is american boxing right now and he is on a trend he is on a, he has a momentum that he cannot be beat lord i don't ask for a lot lord i'm almost willing i wanted to live to be 98 to 108 years old I am willing to give you a couple of them years back, Lord, if you let Jake Paul lose. Lord, I don't ask you for much, Lord. I would I will be in church every single Sunday for the rest of the year, Thursday and Wednesday, Lord. Lord, if you just put somebody in Jake's path that'll wire his mouth shut at least for a month and a half, Lord, I will never walk past that Santa Claus ringing that bell in front of a Walmart ever again. I will stop and I will give them exactly what they are asking for. If you just let somebody knock his ass out one time, I promise you, I will never go into a Chick-fil-A or, or a Culver's or a McDonald's or a Burger King and take more napkins than necessary. If you just put one person in front of Jake Paul that'll wear him out, Lord, I will never go on Walmart again and change the prices on stuff in the self-checkout line and then look confused when they catch me doing it and leave all the groceries there and walk out of the store like I was trying to steal that three cases of bottled water under my bucket. Just let him lose. What? <sighs> I am begging you. I am coming to you humble. I am Chucky praying over a 10 year old's body. Whom about that Shimbella right now? I just want one time for this man to lose just once because we got to deal with this for the next four, five months because boxing is. Lord, if you just let Jake Paul lose one time, I will call Sally May and start paying my student loans. I will pay Sprint on time this month. I promise you on everything I love, I will treat my car right and I will stop riding around on E. Lord, just, just once. Just once. Just, just, please, man. Please just one. Damn, Willie, man, you had one job, man.